Hi everybody, um, I'm just waiting for this to ping up on my phone um, to show that I'm live, see if anyone comes and joins us. Um, but today, as I said in the um, title, is all about you asking your questions, um, you know, all the things that you've ever wondered, all the things that you've um, never had an opportunity to ask and today's your opportunity. I'm a little bit earlier than I would do normally. I'm planning on going out this evening so I thought I'd pop on, see what's going on at quarter past three in the afternoon and see if anybody uh, wants to have a little chat with us. So we've got one person, two people, got a couple of people viewing now. So do feel free to pop your questions in the chat and let me know um, and if there's any way that I can um, help uh, answer any of your questions then please feel free to ask um, they can be about anything anything you like at all so you know my background is I'm a um, spiritual medium I'm also a psychic and a healer um, I work with lots of different complementary therapies lots of different treatments things like that um, so you know Feel free to ask anything you want at all. I also do paranormal evenings, so that's where we go into people's homes or different locations and we investigate what's going on there. Um, so if you have questions about things that go bump in the night or in the day or whatever time of the uh, <laughs> of the day you're, you're feeling or experiencing things, feel free to ask. Um, and I might even throw in the odd little reading here and there. So feel free to um, ask your questions, have a little chat. Um, and we'll see what happens. I haven't got anybody asking anything yet, um, so I'll just keep chatting to myself um, and see what happens. Um, my post has only just pinged from my phone, so we'll give you a few moments just to ask or chat to anything you like at all. Hi Millie, how are you? I thought I do the evenings a lot, so I thought I'd give the uh, the early birds an opportunity as well. Hi Charlie, hope you're good. So guys, if you've got any questions about anything spiritually related, um, feel free to ask away. Um, as I say, we often go to different places and see people work and see people do different bits and pieces, but we never get an opportunity to ask uh, how things work or what happens or anything like that. Um, I'm feeling a bit better today, a little bit, getting there slowly but surely. A um, little bit of a cough, a little bit of a bunged upness, but apart from that, I'm I'm, get, I'm pretty much fine. I uh, <laughs> uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying this lovely weather out. All right, let's have a little look for you, Billy. Well, the problem that's going on with me at the oh, get better. Billy, so the first thing that comes to my mind is which problem. So I do feel as though oh, you've got a couple of things that are going on with you at the moment. Um, and I feel that actually one of them is related to you personally. And one of them is related to um, more collective, more sort of around you rather than with you directly okay um so let's have a little look for you really quickly so billy 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 oh just moved my whole screen down let's have a little look for you billy so billy i do feel as though there is a need to let go at the moment i feel as though you're holding on to things that have happened previously and it's almost like you're foreseeing something um turning out the same way as it has done previously and i feel um that by letting that go by allowing it to just happen and and not i say i i compare a lot of things to this but you know one of my biggest things is that life is a bit like a fart if you force it it's going to be shit okay um and i do and i say the same for mediumship i say the same for lots of things but in in general if you're forcing something to happen if you're forcing something to to go in a particular direction then it's going to turn out badly because you're not going with the flow of the energy the flow of life 
and I feel that there's this hanging on, this holding on to things at the moment, Billy, okay, where I just want to see you letting go, allowing it to happen, and then moving on from that. I do see that it is going to get better. I do see justice um, coming your way, and I do see that the things are going to become a little bit more balanced for you um, and a little bit more fair, because I feel as though there's an unfair um, element around you at the moment. Um, and I just feel that um yeah i feel as though that's quite uh, significant that once you let go of the outcome just allow things to unfold that fairness that justice will will prevail and i do feel as though it will be within the next couple of weeks you'll start seeing the outcome of this but i do feel that just give it time okay uh hope that made sense to you billy um i say i'm trying to get through different bits and pieces so I did have an actual question there a couple of questions uh, sometimes when I close my eyes I see faces is that spirit so it could be spirit it could very well be so when I first started meditating and connecting with the spirit world I used to see faces that come in to my vision would look at me for a short moment and then step back out again and then somebody else would come in and then step back out again and so on and so forth and um, when I became more attuned to spirit and I asked what this was about it was about them sussing me out trying to work out which guide was best to work with me at that moment who was needed to come into my energy what I was doing so as I'm opening and connecting the spirit world they're also seeing my energy and going oh what's this let's have a little look and see what's going on however there is a um a known fact where we 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 see visions of people uh, in um, objects normally it's in patterns and things like that um, I can't think of a word for it but I do know that, that that's something um, however I'm not feeling that in your case I feel as though that would be um, people coming in to look at your energy and see what's going on for you uh, do you receive hopefully that made sense uh, do you see receive negative news when giving readings if so how do you deal with this so yes i do receive sometimes negative news however i believe that a reading is about giving guidance and about giving insight into situations so rather than me just passing on that bad news per se i'd be looking at what we can do about it because you know it's meant to be empowering a reading's meant to lift you up and, and move you forward it's not going to just be oh this crap's happening and deal with it there's there's going to be a more um focused approach to it so there's going to be particularly um with readings that i do i will always try and look and see what can we do to change the situation you know if for example i see that somebody is going to have a baby um and i'm not one of those that typically see pregnancy um but if i was and that person didn't want a baby get on the pill um use a condom uh, don't have sex you know there's things we can do about it um that can um prevent that outcome there's you know it's about the energy flow from where we're at now if you don't like that outcome do something about it um and it's the same for negative news you know i don't get people's illnesses i don't get that somebody's going to hurt themselves somebody's going to have a crash none of this nonsense but i do see is for example somebody driving too fast in a blue car right then the, the outcome or the purpose behind that would be slow yourself down take your time you know you don't want a ticket so slow go slower um and things like that so there is a purpose behind any negative news that i get and it then i try to find an empowering um aspect that goes alongside it <coughs> um i'm just gonna make sure i'm getting readings okay so i'm going to go to the questions first and then i'll go back and have a look and see if i've got time to see about any any other bits and pieces so if i wanted to start to connect with the spirit world is meditation the best place to start so yes and no so meditation is a really good place to start 
to find yourself, to find your own spirit, your own power. And then when, then when we recognise what is us and what is outside of us, then we can start to think about, yeah, start to think about how the spirit world can interact to create those changes and, and sensations. Meditation, so meditation is one aspect of mediumship. Some people get so caught up in meditation that they think that they're talking to spirit every time they go into one, which isn't always the case. Sometimes we will just go into meditation to contemplate or to experience a particular aspect um, of life um, and to, to digest or to go through a particular um, situation. Um, my biggest... Um, recommendation for connecting to spirit is to ask to sit in a little bit of a quiet space and to ask questions to allow yourself to be inspired so sometimes I um, as I say when I first started my mediumship uh, journey um, I would focus very much on meditation and I would focus very much on raising my opening my chakras opening my energy centers and and turning them on if you like not not arousing them but activating them um, and then at the end closing them down and, and shutting them off well if we shut off our energy centers we're dead uh, these are our life force our, our energy our, our us and we can't close it off and open it up and what we can do is raise awareness of that area tune into the impressions and energy that, that it resides within that space and then we can work with that energy so it's not about opening and closing it's just about raising that awareness tuning in and tuning out if you like um, and meditation can help all of those things and i think it's important to think about meditation more as a tool rather than as a route to meditation so a uh, route to mediumship so the biggest thing i and and as i say is to talk to myself talk to yourself and trust the answers that you get because this would be your you are talking to your own spirit and you know that's what meditation allows us to do is to talk to our own spirit and when we can do that we can then shift the awareness to somebody else's spirit and that's the only difference between working psychically where I can tune into yours physically, like what I do with my cards, like what I do when I'm not talking to your dead people. Um, and then I can move my awareness to a different place to be able to communicate with those who have not got a body. And it's as simple as that. So psychic development, I would say, is the cornerstone to mediumship um, development. And the two things are very hand in hand and tied together however it's important to recognize the source of your information and that's where the difference between psychic and mediumship comes in psychic is all about the energy that is here on this earth plane mediumship is about that which resides in the spirit world hopefully that makes sense so psychic development is where i would go so learning cards having a practice doing meditation yes would help but i feel the same particularly for you millie and for um, um, somebody else who asked Cherry um, who asked um, would um, find that really beneficial to be able to develop your psychic side of things play with some cards have a go relax with it enjoy it enjoy that experience because that's the bit we often go wrong with we often get hung up and so desperate to make it work that we're like, oh my God, I'm not getting it right. I sat with a lady in circle for about three, four years. And after meditation, when she would only see colours, would give up. And for the rest of the evening, she'd switch off and not do very much because she was so disappointed that she only saw colours. When she actually, um, when we broke that down and worked with that, um, she was then able to utilise those colours to be able to give readings or to be able to uh, highlight those experiences. And for those who are learning to meditate and to connect, seeing colours is fantastic. You know, even if it's just in meditation and all you're seeing is colour. But if that is all you're seeing, you're not having thoughts of everyday life, you're not having thoughts of shopping or the kids or work or anything else, then that's exactly what we're looking for. That that place of stillness, that place of clear-mindedness is exactly what meditation is about. 
Meditation is different from attunement. And attunement is when we connect with the spirit world. I mean, you can use a med we can use meditation as a vehicle to get there, but they are different. I hope that made sense. And so I feel a little bit preachy today. Um, okay. <coughs> Afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing? So I had a couple of requests for readings. Yeah, so have a play with them angel cards. Have a play with the tarot cards. Please don't worry if they're Dora and Virtue cards. Just because she's gone a bit crazy doesn't make, take anything away from um, her cards in themselves. Um, they are still a fantastic tool. Um, I love working with the angels. So anyone who's had a uh, an email reading from me, I do um, a bit of tarot, a little bit of um, working with crystals in there. I, I sort of prescribe some crystals that would be beneficial for your situation and then I go on to connect with the angelic realms and, and pass on anything um, from them um, and angel cards are a really nice tool to just start bridging that gap um, but again be aware whether you're connecting with the angelic realms or whether you're connecting psychically because tar uh, angel cards will allow both of those things to happen um, so Let's have a little looky looky. Um, <laughs> Millie, I'm going to put a card for you as well. Okay. So, Millie, the card that I had here for you was friendship okay um however what i feel with this card for you today is about actually being kind to yourself it's about um stop beating yourself up because i feel that at the moment you're getting aggravated with your own energy with your own productiveness and i feel that you're almost you, you've yeah, you've, you've been putting things off, but actually I feel that this is a good thing for once. And I think that actually it's what's been needed. Um, for too long you've held yourself uh, responsible for picking up every single thing and do, doing everything, being on top of everything. And actually I feel as though you need to just take your foot off that pedal a little bit, which you have been. Um, and I feel that you need to just relax and enjoy the ride. Um, because I feel like you've been, as I say, beating yourself up over not getting things done or not being as productive as you would like or not meeting your own goals and, and time limits, time frames. And I just think it's really important to acknowledge that these are time frames that you have set yourself rather than that what life has, has dealt. And by you just relaxing, enjoying yourself and taking that pressure off, you're going to be far more productive in the long run. I feel a little bit burnt out with you. And I feel that you need to, as I say, just look after yourself for a little while. Um, the last year has been a little bit manic. Um, but I feel if I was to look back 10 years from now, um, you were in a very different situation. And your life was looking and feeling very, very different than it is now. And I just want to acknowledge that journey that you've been on. Okay. Um, and you know just be gentle with yourself stop beating yourself up it's all right to, to take time out it's absolutely perfectly um acceptable um and it's something that i'd like to see you doing more of Nicola, what do I prefer, angel or tarot cards? Um, I've. It depends on on how I'm feeling. It depends on the person I'm reading for, how much in depth I want to go into. Um, I like the tarot cards because um, there's lots and lots of additional symbology in there. So you know, there's some quite archetypal. Um, 
meanings and, and uh, messages that come through just in the cards themselves from the sort of atypical um, definitions and then equally as I tune in psychically to those that can go a little bit more deeply into the different meanings for that person specifically so there is you know there's two channels with, with tarot cards and there's depth and there's value in both aspects so for instance like I, I learned tarot intuitively so I read cards I pick out a card feel what I'm drawn to feel what I'm, I'm go with that but I also have learned tarot cards um, traditionally which is where you learn the meanings of each card you learn the the symbology that exists on that card um, the the message that goes alongside it things like that um, angel cards just give me more of a skimming over the surface type of reading which has got its own place um however then it's about me taking the responsibility to tune in a little bit deeper on that um and i don't tend to read the books with with oracle cards um so angel cards are, a, are one thing and then i use oracle cards so I tend to go through oh ice cream bag i tend to go through different phases of different things so for instance at the moment i'm really drawn to these um because i like the images they just give me really short simple um, aspects but i will use these in correlation with these and i will often use these and these within my magic work so if for example i'm looking at um a i don't know i want to get um i want to unblock something that's that's not moving forward as i would like to or i feel as though something situationally is blocking my progression then i would work with hecate um who is the um crone goddess of crossroads and very good at opening doors and, and removing blockages um oh yeah i forgot i put the donate button on so let me tell you a bit about the donate button so i have put a donate button on there today um next weekend i'm off to a hotel somewhere um and i'm running their playroom um and it's a conference for a condition called cornelia de lang syndrome or cdls um uk and ireland so i'm a trustee for them um and every now and again i do some fundraising and bits and pieces for them um, but that weekend i'll be working with all the young children um helping them to play and just be children for the day uh talking to parents and giving them some advice and some support around behavior or communication or whatever they need really um but i've been doing it for a good few years now um and um yeah so if you do want to donate absolutely feel free to uh it's something i'm very passionate about and i try to um support as often as i can and during lockdown we raised a good amount of money for them can't remember exactly how much but probably about four or five hundred pound um another time we raised a thousand pound for them um so there's you know it's something that i'm really passionate about so if you do want to donate please feel free to hopefully you can get it to work um okay so yeah so i've got my favorite at the moment actually i'll do a reading with the uh, goddess cards um so these are by Doreen Virtue, uh, these ones. So Doreen Virtue, um oh that way. Um she was a she sort of pioneered Oracle cards if you like. She spent a lot a lot of time creating different decks of Oracle cards that connect or that are designed to connect with different um energetic beings um and then she became a born again christian and she denounced um all of the cards that she made declaring that they are the devil's work uh declaring that they're they're evil um and it's all sorts of things however i like them because they and they work for me and they help me tune into they help me shift my focus which is what mediumship is all about just moving the focus from the here and now to the spirit world or to the angelic kingdom or gods and goddesses from different faiths or the fae or 
totem animals or whatever you need it to be with um it's just about shifting attention and these cards help me to do that so color okay so this is the cards that i felt drawn to for you and it says um Ichel? i can't say her name um uh, and it's medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power so i do feel with these uh with this card particularly i do feel that you've been asking for healing for somebody close to you recently and i'd feel as though this is more around their mental well-being uh than anything else and i do feel as though this is mainly towards a, a gentleman in your life and i feel that as I um, draw in this card, I want to acknowledge that this healing is on its way and that the heaviness around this person is going to be starting to lift a little bit. Now, I'm not a doctor and please, you know, if somebody does need support for their mental well-being, there are lots and lots of charities out there. There are lots and lots of apps uh, now available to help support people's well-being. Um, so please, you know, particularly for men's mental health, it's so important because it goes so unspoken um, too often, far too often. Um, and it's it's just as prevalent. Um, yeah. Uh, so also as I look at this card, uh, some of the... Um, some of the um, focus on this card is actually around um, the water for me. Um, although it's a very small aspect of the card with it just being over here um, actually that's where my eye was drawn to and I feel psychically that this would be acknowledging the emotion that is around um, you at this moment but in relation to somebody else's well-being um, and I feel as though you know it's just about you recognizing that you're important too and that other people's needs other people's feelings and emotions do not overtake your own um, they're just as valid just as um just as important um you know it reminds me very much of uh even the um air hostesses even the people on flights and stuff need to put their oxygen on before they start looking after other people um, and they often tell the passengers to do the same so we can't help each other if we're in a difficult situation ourselves so this is just a reminder to look after you at the moment and i will just draw another card um and we've got mother mary mother mary um and i feel this is about the fact that once again it's an acknowledgement of your you have been asking for help you've been asking for for guidance and for support and this is really what's being acknowledged of it coming forward um and it very much being um, that you are being heard and you are being listened to um, so hopefully that makes sense for you Nicola as I say there are little snippet ones today um, so we'll see what's what um, but as I said earlier on I use these cards to, as a focus for um, for when my magic work when I do stuff um, on, a, on a magical level um that i use it as a focus point that's what i was going to say okay um julie julie jules now julie um I'm not particularly drawn to pick a card for you. However, I have got a man that steps forward. Now, this man, he makes me feel as though I go to dad's side of the family. He makes me feel as though there's something here about onions. Um, and I don't know what it is. Um, which is a really strange thing to come straight in with. Uh, he makes me feel as though... very good question i will come back to this one so please bear with me uh I, he makes me feel as though oh, i don't know if i grow grew allotments but i know i grew allotments i grew onions on an allotment um but i feel as though there's something more to it than this i don't i can see big jars of pickled onions but i can see i can smell onions um not cooked onions it's not me it's okay um but i feel as though with him um, as I say, I go to dad's side of the family. He makes me feel as though I'm a 
average build i've not got a lot of meat on me but i'm not skinny either um he tells me that uh, i would have smoked at one point in my life and i know this affected my lungs um and i know that it makes it difficult for me to breathe clearly uh, i also know with this man that there's a sense of time just ran out on me and i was passionate about living every moment um until my last uh he does take me once again to dad's side of the i'm not sure if this is dad or if this is granddad at the moment um he makes me feel as though um okay um he makes me feel as though uh there's a sense of i don't know if i had something wrong with my eyes or if i couldn't see properly or there was something to do with i don't know uh, but it makes me very aware of my eyes here um is this making any sense to you at the moment okay let me just have a little feel with him if there's anything else he wants to give me did you know your granddad on your dad's side of the family um because he's that's where he's taking my mind to at the moment Julie. um and he makes me feel yeah he makes me feel like i'm, I'm just asking him for some clarification or confirmation and he make <clears throat> and he makes me feel as though the worries that you spoke about earlier on are quite general worries it's almost as though you've got multiple things that are coming into your mind that cause you to be concerned that cause you to be worried um and i feel that ah okay because he certainly knows you uh, and i feel that he um It makes me want to smile and he makes me feel like a lot of this is not even your stuff um because he makes me feel like you're worrying about worrying um and that you're going around in a little bit of a vicious circle at the moment and here we go and that there's also concerns around a career or around finances linked to career so i don't know if there's worry about work um all right uh, yeah so it makes me feel as though there are worries around work or around income related to work um and i just want to really sort of emphasize the fact that i feel as though this is going to sort itself out i feel as though it's just going to be a matter of slow and steady um it's only a short period of time where i need to pull my purse strings tighter um and stop giving so freely um and i feel uh that uh it's important for you to realize that actually you're being looked after there's there's an element here of there's things that you can you spent so long putting things tucking things away tucking things to the side um making do that actually you're doing all right you're not you haven't got to worry okay Hopefully that makes sense to you, Julie. I'm not feeling very much more than that actually a lot of this worry is not blown out of proportion, but a lot of it is worrying about worrying. Um, and so you're 
yeah, chasing your tail a little bit. But I do feel as though, you know, you've, you, you've got this. You're, you've got it. And I do feel as though it's only a little short while that it's going to continue for. But I then feel like your hard work will pay off. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Is it true you can manifest things through spell? Oh, absolutely you can. Um, so, I'm going to let you into a little secret. I manifested my boyfriend into my life. Um, I manifested him um, by creating a little spell box with my friend. We used various different herbs and, sp not spices, herbs and, and plants. We used um, symbols and um, charms. Um, and I then wrote myself or my higher self a letter or the universe if you like um, declaring or thanking them for delivering me um, a, a, a partner who fulfilled very specific criteria um, to the point where I described what would need to be in the background when I met him that he would be local that he would um, what else He'd be working, uh, but also have time to socialise. He'd um, be um, working in a way that's surrounded, where he's surrounded by people, um, because that's quite important to me. Um, and that he would then want to socialise in that environment. Well, I, I said there would be a, a pride flag in the back. So I, I released it to the universe. I folded it up, wax sealed it, popped it in my little charm box. Um, and put it to the side um, and I had um, I worked with Aphrodite who's a goddess uh, of love um, who I so I, I invoked her energy into it um, and um, asked her to help deliver this to me and then I popped it to the side well two weeks later I was on plenty of fish as you do and I got a, a match and I thought, do you know what, let's do this. So we went on a date and he was living, um, so one of my things was he had to be local. Um, so he lived about two minutes away from me um, in the local pub. Um, and he, um, sorry, we worked with people, socialized. Uh, we went to the Chinese and when I looked behind me, there was a gay flag flying in the background from the pub that he worked in uh, and lived in. Um, and that was one of my symbols I needed. Um, his physical description matched um, my request or my manifestation. Um, what else was there? It was just like every box was, absolutely every box was ticked. And then I buried my, my spell and released that back into the world, into the into the earth to be done whatever it needs to be done with, um, and let it go and thanked the universe by putting an offering, which was the spell as well as mother bits and pieces, into the earth and, and released it. So yes, spells can work. I'm very good at getting rid of people from my life who perhaps caused me some challenges. Um, and uh, yeah, very it works because I just hand it to the universe to, to allow that to deliver in whatever way it needs to. So yeah, it, it is good. Um, and I'm a strong believer in protection and healing through magic as well as manifesting the things that you desire. So I do sometimes a little workshop on um, um, vision boards where you create the image of the life that you want or the situation that you want the more focused the more exact you can be the better but then it's about tucking that away um, and allowing the universe to do, to deliver it um so in fact i might do one soon um but i also so once a month on a wednesday the last wednesday no the fourth wednesday of the month I do a little group where I teach people skills like this um, and actually Beltane coming up um, at the end of April, end of April, 
yeah, end of April. Um, well, beginning of May, end of April. It's normally around May Day. Um, and is a, a fertility uh, romance uh, fire festival. Uh, very good for bringing your um, wishes, desires, ambitions into reality. Uh, very good for those who want to get up the duff. It's a good time of the year to do fertility spells, um, things like that. Um, but it's it's where you know the maypole representing the blokes, penile, uh, and uh, it's about then, um, and that comes from the fire belt, uh, the Beltane fire, um, the shaft of of the the pole. Uh, with the ribbons being tied across representing um, the vagina uh, and that is all around that impregnating the, the earth with life um, impregnating your situation with life um, and allowing it to move forward so it's a fantastic festival one of my favourite festivals to be honest um, so yeah that's coming up at the end of end of April beginning of May type time um, I normally celebrate the festivals a little bit ahead so that those I'm teaching can then do it if they want to on the actual day uh, and I always include a little bit of crafting of some sort to make sure that we're you know it's called the craft for a reason it's about making it's about bringing into reality our, our ideas and by making something into reality we can start that process off but yeah I love magical stuff uh, anyway <coughs> I had a request from Jeff. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Geoff. So, Jeff, I've got um, pick two cards here. So the first card is this one. Confidence. Okay. Um, hmm. And I feel. I feel that there's uh, a situation around you where you're concerned about information that you're waiting to be given I don't know if this is around a health situation or around like a, a life-changing situation but I do feel as though it's almost like you're waiting confirmation or you're waiting for some information relating to this and I feel as though there's been a little bit of a delay in the, the tests or the results from tests um, and I feel that this is important um, Okay, and I feel that there's almost like a, I don't know if it's to do with like a heart condition or something like this, but my mind is taken to my chest area, uh, particularly around my heart. And it's almost like I want I need to have tests or there's like a widening of the artery here that I need to get checked out. I don't know if this is making sense to you, Jeff. Um, and it's almost like I just want to give you the patience, but the confidence that you've got the right people trying to sort this problem out. Now, I'm not a doctor, please don't think I am for a moment, um, but I'm um, very aware that this, this is being looked after. And just be patient because the right, as I say, the right people are looking after this. Uh, and I don't know if this oh, runs in the family at all, um, but I feel like there's somebody, um, or there's, there's someone in, yeah, someone in the spirit world who's gone, um, 
I'm going through this or I've been through this too um, and it's like you're getting the backup from those in the spirit world about this but it's almost like you've caught it quick enough or early enough to get it fixed whereas they waited because they didn't speak about the, 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 the discomfort that they were in okay I also feel here that there's a bit about you've been taking the steps back you've been holding off on um, doing living your other aspects of your life it's almost as if you've you've been put everything on hold because of this health condition and it's just a reminder to just enjoy life enjoy the things that are going on for you and stop holding yourself back waiting for this it, the answers will come the solutions will come when it's time they just want you to enjoy the rest of the stuff that's going on it's almost like you're missing out on things you're missing out on opportunities because you're holding too closely uh, onto the waiting for an outcome from this these results okay i don't know if they're talking about putting some sort of stint in or some sort of it's like a like trying to widen things out but i feel like there needs to be something added into this to make it so that things can flow better for you um because i feel so that's the problem it's not flowing quite right um and i feel like things need to be added what about family What, you want me to connect with somebody in the spirit world or you want to know about your family here ah good okay Okay. I feel as though there's been a little bit of conflict around uh, one of them at the moment, no two of them. So I don't know if there's been a little bit of conflict between two people within your family who have sort of butted heads and moved apart. Um, but I'm aware that there's this feeling about a divide or, or a separation within your family at the moment. And I feel that there's almost like a, yeah, a pushing and pulling going on. That one person's too stubborn to step back and to allow it just to be resolved. Um, and there's a sense here that um, recently somebody has started to make the effort to mend this this divide or mend this disagreement and it's just a sense here of of actually peace is is on its way for them um but it's going to take time but it's also going to take people not to interfere um or not to get involved rather than not interfering and i just feel that there's this element here of people keep getting caught up in the, the situation rather than allowing it just to be um they are getting stuck in this he said she said type situation um and i just feel like giving them the space to resolve it without people getting involved is what's needed at the moment i do see this becoming a little bit clearer uh, i also know that there is a lady again here on the earth plane so still alive who is concerned about her health too and i don't know if there's like something to do with diet or something to do with like my my health and and reactions i don't know what this is about um whether this is like a an allergy or a reaction to certain food um it's not making sense in my mind yeah it's almost like I don't know like i want to look at what's been going in and what's coming out uh but what's what's actually happening when certain things are being eaten um because this i feel as though this is also linked around like a health uh situation um 
Okay. Yeah, I do feel that this again, um, there'll be answers very shortly, and I feel as though it's just about waiting and going through the motions of getting this, the, the right tests from the right people. Uh, and I'll go to that to a slightly older lady, um, older than me. Um, Excuse me. Um, so hopefully that made sense to you, Jeff. Okay, so Courtney. Um, lost my mum when I was 13 and, I was, and it was 11 years yesterday. Courtney, I can only imagine how hard that must be to be so young um, when you lost your mum. I do understand how it feels to lose a mum. I've lost both my parents now. And when I say lost, they're not lost. They're very much around us. They're very much there uh, with us. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Those that have seen before um, know that I'm, uh, what I'm about to, to say, um, my, little, oh, my little story of, of what happened to me. So I was caring for my mum, well I was with my mum when she passed in hospital um, it's either three or four years on the 14th um, so a couple of days away and my mum had been poorly all over the Easter break and I had been working going in, looking after visiting uh, driving my sister backwards and forwards from Kent, booking a hotel staying there for a few days things like that and then the last night, I'd, me and my sister had a bit of a row because we were tired and grumpy. So I drove her home, got back into my bed and got a phone call. Ryan, no, you need to get up here now. Your mum's going to die. So we got in the car, drove all the way up there. Um, phoning on the way from hands free, of course. Uh, but phoning on the way to let people know that, you know, it's happening. So get, come back to the hospital. So we then sat by the bed and we sat there for um, all evening basically. I think it was about four in the morning she finally passed. But my sister had fallen asleep and so we sent her to go to my brother's house for a quick nap. Um, then the nurse came past and wanted to give my mum some pain relief. Uh, I probably have uh, and I saw my dad standing in my bed, in my mum's bed and I was the only one there with her. So, you know, I then saw my mum's spirit stand next to my dad and they smiled at each other, looked at each other, held hands. And then I saw them both drift into the spirit world. And then it was that moment my mum took her last breath. Um, and it's just a real confirmation for me that we're not on our own when we die, that we are looked after, uh, that our parents, our loved ones, our, the people we care for, are also cared for by those in the spirit world. And I think it's a really important message to take away that, you know, we cared, we, people in the world are there in those last moments uh, to help us transition from this life to the next. Uh, but it doesn't take away that grieving, it doesn't take away that loss from um, the, 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 the physical person who we've not no longer have in our physical life. And, you know, I think it's important to recognise that too. Um, so... And my mum, I was about 14 when my mum was diagnosed as terminally ill. I'm just going to ignore that noise. Uh, so I do understand almost, I grieved my mum a couple of times. It doesn't get easier. Um, okay. Would you understand, Courtney, I feel as though with your mum, when she was here in the physical world, um, there would have been a, a drawn outness to her can passing. I feel as though she was poorly for a little while, um, and I feel as though particularly the last few stages of her passing were quite drawn out, and there was a, a an element of she was ready to pass when she did emotionally, or not so much emotion, not ready. 
she she'd gone through a significant amount um, of the condition and she was tired and she was ready to pass into the spirit world to be free from that discomfort. Does that make sense to you, Corne? Okay. And I know that with your mum, um, she says she there must have been something that was said just before she passed um, and she goes and I still love you that much now um, and it's like I don't know if I love you it's like yeah I love you to the moon and back and I love you every single day I love you and it doesn't change just because I'm in here in the spirit world um, but I still love you and I'm still with you and I know that you've got something that you um, it's like a, there's a photo that you would have of your mum and you um, that is special there you go I love you to the moon and back okay um, and I know that this is your mum's uh, way of saying goodbye to you but I know that there's it's like, sorry let me go back I know there's this photograph um yeah um okay i know there's this photograph uh oh okay i ha i can see it i'm not gonna lie i can see a little photo on i thought that was you and a little boy i'm not gonna <laughs> sorry um <coughs> uh <coughs> oh <coughs> would you understand a cough not too dissimilar from this um where it was like a short sharp cough that she would have had um and she's just given me that impression now but i know that she hasn't got that anymore i know that that's it's very much a memory of this cough and she's making a point of going look i'm not coughing now i'm not coughing anymore um and i can't okay and i can't um i can't see from the picture in, in the profile but there's something special about her eyes here as well um yeah there's something special about her eyes and i don't know if it's that you and her have similar eyes um but i know there's also something special about them uh okay and i also feel all right um when i talk to your mum here they think about a necklace that she wants to give to you too and she, wants, she places in your hand here and I don't know if there was another girl that I need to acknowledge as well Courtney um, but I feel as though it's almost like there's you and there's another that I want to send you kisses to okay um, and I feel as though this is really important now you told me at the beginning of this that she passed um, a couple of days ago 13 years previously however I want to also go to the beginning of May here for like a birthday a passing or an anniversary and I know that I want to be talking about like the 3rd of the 5th so the 3rd of May as being important I also know as I talk to your mummy um, that I I know that there's she says to me my name is here too now uh, and I feel as though it wasn't when she passed so I know that there would be um Oh, your sister got the necklace. Fantastic. I know there would have been... Um, oh, I just lost what I was saying. Yes, I know the, the, there's a child that has been born since that has been named after her. Yes, thank you. Um, but it's almost like... Okay, I knew May was important. Um, and yes, there's a, some, a child who's been named since um, since her passing who has been named after her. And I don't mind if this is a middle name, uh, but I know that she's like excited because my name's still here. And I know, uh, Courtney, that she says, I heard you talking about me two, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I was going to say two days, but that's too easy. Uh, two weeks ago, you was talking about me um to your sister okay 
um, and I know that this is important. This is how close your mummy is. You know, she she knows that there's little things that you do to honour her and to remember her. Um, and I know that this is important. Your mum is so close to you. Um, without a doubt, she's so close to you. And she said, yeah, there's things that you cook now that you cook because she used to do it the same way. Um, she's saying she makes me feel particularly that that's important. It's like, I don't know if there's some way that you do the sausages, sausage and mash or sausages, that's important. I don't know if I'm sticking the sausages in to make it like sticking out of the mash. Um, I don't know. There's something funny that she's doing here with the, with the food. Um, she's also talking to me about November and I can see a um, an anniversary or a special occasion in November here. Because uh, I can see fireworks and I know that that would be fireworks night. Okay. So now I'm around that date for like a, a birthday party or an anniversary. And what's that then? Yeah, and she just really wants you to know that she's so proud of the lady that you've become. She's so proud of the person that you've become. Um, she corrected me there. She was like, oh, she's not quite a lady. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I think <laughs> your mum's got a naughty sense of humour. I like it. Um, okay. And I feel as though it's really important to acknowledge that that, that she's so proud of you. Uh, there's something, I don't know if this is to do with work, um, that you do in, in honour of her. Like you're walking my footsteps with work as well. Uh, and I think that's really important to acknowledge, Courtney. Yeah, it's like I'm so proud of you and everything that you do, I know that you do it with such confidence and such pride in yourself. And she said, and I match that pride now too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just leave your mum's love there uh, with you. And she's like, she said, I ain't going anywhere, Ryan. So. Um, ah, oh, beautiful job. I used to do that for many years, and I now work with young adults. Um, I'm a uh, a teacher, well, I'm a manager in a college, looking after young people with disabilities. So, you know, very very amazing work, and I, you know, I did it for myself for many many years. So, yeah. And how, hard, how hard that can be sometimes but I'm going to leave your mum's love very much in your heart and, and she's very much around you and I think that goes to show how much she's around you okay and I just think you know from my perspective that's what me this is what medium should be about making somebody's day making somebody uh realize how much love that is there for them from the spirit world it's not about and i see it a lot of times as a, as a medium um it's not about counting how many people you make cry it's about making that counting how many people you make smile and how many people you make feeling um better as they leave your reading than they did when they arrived and unfortunately i see a lot of people who do readings that, that sort of get a kick out of making somebody feel sad it's not meant to be about that. It's meant to be about upliftment, about joy, about positivity. And hopefully that's what I've passed on for you from your lovely mum. Um, yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm going to shoot off really quickly. because Basically, I need to put my washing out. And I want to do it before the sun goes in. Um, so I'm going to go and shove some washing on the line. And then I'll be back. But this time it will be for readings, okay? So this, the questions, uh, it was meant to be a questions and answer session. Uh, it turned into a little bit of reading. So clearly there's a need for readings. Um, and I will be back on doing some readings very, very shortly. Okay? Much love to you all. Uh, and I will see you all very, very soon. Not a problem, Judy. I'll 
Doing me better for your April. 